Four Steps to Emotional Freedom You hear a lot about political freedom, freedom of speech, and financial freedom. But did you know you can achieve emotional freedom as well? Life can weigh you down with a whole lot of emotional baggage, affecting your reactions and behavior without you even realizing. Follow these suggestions to help release emotional blocks so you can free yourself to live your best life. 1. Do an emotional baggage audit. So many people live every day burdened with the anxiety, guilt, and shame of a lifetime. Going right back to childhood, you've been learning to avoid these bad feelings by modifying your actions. Take some time to identify what your personal triggers are. Do you avoid upsetting people? Are you a habitual agreer? Are you risk averse? The first step to emotional freedom is to identify the negative emotions that are holding you back. 2. Challenge your negative emotions. Observe what triggers your negative emotions. Maybe it's being asked for an opinion, and you're not sure of the right answer, or being afraid to risk failure in work or in your relationship. Challenge your anxiety or your fear by consciously choosing not to be controlled by them. You can say it out loud if you want, or mentally repeat a saying or mantra that you find helpful. I'm not paralyzed by anxiety, for example. Or, it's okay to take risks. 3. Choose a loving approach. Emotional freedom means living your life in a loving way. You can choose to stay in happiness by choosing to act at all times in a way that brings you joy. Choose to do things or be with the people that make you happy. If it feels good, do it. And remember, love is not always focused outwards. It's just as important to be loving towards yourself. Set yourself up to be as loving as you can. Look after the source, be kind, and acknowledge that pretty much most of the time you're doing your best. 4. Choose to be free. Like most people, you're probably dealing with your own life wounds. Maybe you're cynical about love. Perhaps you've been hurt and don't want to risk more pain. Look at where your emotional baggage has led you astray. Attend to your wounds and set yourself free to be your authentic self. Believe that you have the strength and capacity to step away from helplessness, to shuck off those emotional bonds, and to move into new freedom where your emotions are your own.